Okay, this is Mike Harper, WA9PIE with Ham Radio Deluxe Software. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the um, features that we've added in Logbook in HRD 5.23. So, there are a couple of things that came up recently with people complaining about how some of the location information wasn't correct. So, <clears throat> there are a couple of things that we did to um, resolve this. Um, one is which we're giving people, uh, we're prompting people when there's, there are location conflicts between the different lookup sources. So if you're using QRZ and previous logbook entries and the HRD country list, and if they don't all agree about the location, you'll get prompted um, to clarify which location it is, and I'll show you examples of that here in a minute. Um, also, you'll be able to change the order of preference for lookups. Some people want to use their logbook as the um, most preferred source. Other people want to use QR, QRZ and, and other sources. So um, we're giving the people the ability to um, select the order of preference. First, to give you kind of an idea of why there's a problem with the lookups. <coughs> Excuse me, is that um, here's an example of the data that we get returned when we send a lookup for PJ7PT to QRZ. This is the XML that's returned. When you see the call sign PJ7PT, the DXCC number specified by the ADIF uh, standard, 213 refers to St. Martin. And we know that PJ7 is not St. Martin, it's St. Martin, which is uh, DXCC 518. Um, you can see here it says St. Martin you can see down here it says St. Martin. So <clears throat> all the information uh, or the information that's given by QRZ in this particular case doesn't, doesn't really match. It, it conflicts. So this is one of the reasons why we had to come up with a way to handle that. So let me show you how that, how that works. Okay, first of all, if you go into the um, call sign lookup, you'll see now that you have the ability to take things and you know move them over into the list. If you like the, the logbook to be searched first, you just kind of click it and until it's at the top. Click the plus buttons to put it at the top. And um, you, know, you can you can add as many of these choices if you want. You can add them all and decide you want to order them in a particular way. Um, so it's been kind of a long requested function. I prefer to have mine set up like um, like this, so that's, um, that's the way I'm going to do it for the demonstration. Okay, so I'm going to do just a few test calls just to give you an idea of um, how, what this looks like now. Um, I'm going to put in PJ7PT. We know there's a conflict with that because I showed it to you in the XML a while ago. So it pops up a uh, a dialog box that says um, QRZ thinks it's uh, St. Martin. Uh, the country index in HRD thinks it's uh, St. Martin, which is it. So we're going to select St. Martin. So it fills in the rest of the information, including the uh, IOTA, which came from the uh, XML, um, QRZ XML. Contact information's in there. Um, the correct country information's in there. We can see the uh, information about what bands that, that uh, station or entity had been worked. And see the previous logbook entries for that particular entity. So you don't get prompted every time. So I'm going to put in one where I know there's, there's not a conflict. I'm going to put in PJ7AZ. PJ7AZ finds St. Martin, or St. Martin, I'm sorry. And... Um, Shows again the proper country, contact, location information. The IOTA wasn't available on QRZ.com, so we didn't populate it. I'm going to show you a couple more, and um, we've fixed a feature that's that's not worked for a while, which was showing the um, um, previous. Um, logbook entries for certain call signs. So if I put in HC2 stroke W7SE I can see I've worked 
that station before and it shows me oh, I'm get, going to get prompted because there's a conflict for those and so I select the right one. So you can see I've worked it um, previously but if I click partial I can see that I've worked uh, V70 SE in a number of different locations. This is pretty handy if uh, if you want to know how many times have I worked this guy and where has he been you can see that pretty clearly here. Another example of my log is uh, W3HNK. He tends to get around. So I can see uh, all the different places I've worked Joe. And uh, if I want an exact match, it's not going to find it because I don't have just uh, Joe from his home QTH in the log. So that's working now. Again, um, all the contact information is uh, is updated, location information, and so on. So here's a, here's another one which is kind of an interesting one. WP2V. Now we all know that WP2 is the prefix assigned to Virgin I the Virgin Islands, but sometimes uh, folks move to the Virgin Islands and eventually move back, and maybe they don't change your call sign. So that's what happened in this particular case. Um, that this guy uh, had moved to the Virgin Islands, got licensed there, or, or at least he got a call sign with WP2 on it. We know he's in the United States, so I'm going to click that. It fills out the rest of the information. Otherwise, it would have logged it as Virgin Islands, and that would have been wrong. Um, so we've got uh, all his, uh, you know, he's in Hilton Head. You see that he's 87 years old. We picked that up out of the uh, XML from QRZ similar to uh, if I put in my call sign it picks up uh, the birth year in the XML and, and does a calculation to determine that I'm 51 um, it's got all the correct information here everything that was obtained from QRZ.com is available in there so those are the those are the updates and changes for you for um, logbook and the lookups there, there's going to be more but I just wanted to give a video just to let folks know what the uh, new uh, lookup functionality is in Logbook. Thanks. Again, this is Mike Carper, WA9PI73s.